What's going on guys? It's Kellen here from Star Your Systems and welcome back to MX Simulator where today we're going to be playing quite a unique little track concept here. The Race Factory Gaming Crew, of course, who puts on Moto Option Supercross and the Race Factory Gaming National Championship decided this offseason to do a little bit of a fun concept and kind of have their own series, uh, which is going, which is called, I'm not saying it's going to be, it's already started, but it is called the... Uh, World Super Motocross Championship, so they kind of combined SMX and World Supercross together. And uh, the first round was already ran earlier this week. It in, as you can see right here, and by the title of this video, it is on a track at Assen in the Netherlands, which is a track that has been used for some MXGP races, was used for the Motocross of Nations in 2019, and is most notably known, I guess, as a MotoGP venue and motocross has decided of late to throw some dirt down on it usually of sand of some sort and and have some races <clears throat> so i think the concept of what race factory went with here is like let's have our own little fun custom series with some custom tracks but also i guess in a way theorize what world supercross or super motocross would look like if they went to some different venues than just stadiums and i've always loved the idea of like trying to find some different concepts which obviously smx this year they went to chicago land they went to a drag strip and then this one is a moto gp track that we're playing so it's kind of in the same ballpark like it's a road race circuit and because of that it has grandstands already in place and um, i don't think it has lights but you know they could maybe install lights or whatever and it just gives us another option to kind of look at what a, a series like world supercross could consider doing because I don't think that SMX or Feld or anybody has plans on going outside the U.S. for any of their stuff, even though they call it the World Super Motocross Championship or whatever. Uh, but World Supercross obviously does, and they've had a little bit of a tumultuous start to their journey in hosting races. Obviously, there's only a two-race series in 2022. Thus far, they've only gotten one race off in 2023 and then uh, halted everything, more or less, and they canceled a bunch of races. And now it's down to just, I think, two races left to go. They're going to go to Abu Dhabi and Melbourne in November to finish off their three-round championship now. And they keep changing investors. And it, it's honestly been a little bit kind of all over the place. And hopefully it doesn't completely ruin the series. But it's definitely not been a great look uh, for the inaugural couple seasons of it. Regardless of which, one thing that I've thought about with the series that you know they're not really doing and not in my opinion taking advantage of is if you want it to be something special and different and really entice maybe some american riders or even american audience to care about it more like you've got to do some really kind of unique stuff and not just super pole and not just main events stacked on top of each other which they do they have like three main events back to back to back and they don't give the guys breaks or anything like that i'm saying like go to unique places uh the thing that's that's so good about red bull straight rhythm every year uh that they have it is they find some really interesting places to go they've had it at drag strips and they've had it um obviously at the beach and and i think that they're even going to try to go to some more outrageous places in the future and so you know assen is a place in the netherlands that has hosted motocross races before i think as i would assume they would be excited to have it again because it always seems to draw a really good crowd and it's a way to have like a daytona-ish style supercross a part of the world supercross tour because it's obviously in the netherlands so it's a european uh based thing uh don't know how the rent would work with that or whatever but it, it's obviously worked for mxgp now i don't know if because mxgp already has gone to Assen that maybe that bridge is burned a little bit like I doubt World Supercross is ever going to get in at like Angel Stadium or whatever because Feld would be like no like that's our our venue you can't go there and maybe MXGP feels that same way about that but you could think about options like this um like uh MXGP for a while they don't anymore but MXGP did go to uh was it the Lausitz ring? I think is what it was called. It was this uh, oval or really kind of like a triangle that was a uh, European NASCAR track in Germany. And they would host MXGP races there. But that's another option. Like if you're trying to get a little bit of a different vibe in the WSX series, go to places like that. Try to fill the grandstands there and build some really cool, unique racetracks. Like this one is right here. What I love about what Race Factory did right here 
is they they try to utilize a lot of aspects of this facility and not just have like a drag strip sort of supercross on the main straightaway. They jumped over this uh, pit wall thing on the, my right side. Um, they obviously went behind it like it does for the GPs and stuff like that. But then they also kind of incorporated a little bit more of like some motocrossy elements in the midst of this as well with some rollers and some swooping turns and things like that. <clears throat> and I think a way to incentivize people to care about WSX is just do weird things, man. Like make weird tracks, unique tracks, bring in a lot of dirt, build big jumps, uh, things like that. So that, you know, maybe the racers are not like so stoked on it, but it gives a different view. And the racers, if they go over there, suddenly are like, man, I get to race at this iconic venue like Assen is, or, you know, maybe they go to another iconic place like it. And it's it's wild, it's different. It's so anti-US Supercross. Like what I don't like about what World Supercross has done so far with the uh, three tracks that they've built in these stadiums is they've been really short and just feel like American Supercross, real cookie cutter, nothing fantastic or unique about them or wild and out there. And they have, in my opinion, free reign to try stuff like because they don't have to abide by these regulations and, and all this stuff like that that Supercross has built out for themselves over the years. Now there's still stadium regulations that they have to uh, adhere to. But I feel like if you go to a venue like this Aston track, you wouldn't have to adhere to that. You wouldn't have to build so far away from the stadium walls or whatever, and you would be able to build a lot of really high dirt jumps because they obviously build big motocross type jumps for the GP. And then honestly, you could even consider the fact of like, all right, well, at Aston, they normally have like a sand MXGP race. Why don't we make a sandy supercross? Like full sand, every straightaway and rhythm section is a sandy section of some sort. Maybe you have like some harder sand in some er some areas so you can still have some rhythm sections and it's not just all rollers or whatever. Um, but again, just like different, be unique, stand out. Don't build the same cookie cutter supercross tracks. It just happens to be in Great Britain. Like do different stuff to differentiate yourself from the pack and get fans to, to care about it a little bit more. Do I care about WSX and, and hope it succeeds? Yes, absolutely. I'm not saying this is like a, a knock on what they've already done. I think it's awesome that they are trying to globalize Supercross to a degree and get some fans that don't normally get to see Ken Roxon and Dean Wilson and all these guys actually go out there and race. But I think that there's a few aspects of it that they could clean up to just make it better. And, and for the, the audience watching at home, be different enough to really be like, man, I got to check this out. What is this? It, it, honestly, it kind of would be a little bit the same sentiments I had when they tried to do the SMX Cup in 2016, which was a manufacturer's race, which was way off the wall. And they got like Ryan Dungey and Jeffrey Hurlings and Tim Geyser and, and all these guys to go race in a stadium on really a motocross track. But it was just so different that everyone was like, man, what is this? I feel like with World Supercross, one of the problems that we've had so far is it just looks really similar. It just happens to be in a different country. And while that does kind of work sometimes for Paris and Geneva and stuff like that, I think a majority of the US market fans haven't really cared about that stuff over the years. Uh, they'll maybe look at results, but they aren't watching live. And then beyond that, the racers, unless they're paid a substantial stunt, some don't feel incentivized to go do it because it's not a really standout product. So. Again, just kind of thinking out loud with some of these these topics, but yeah, like if I'm if I'm World Supercross, I'm trying to think of stuff like this. Like even the concept of okay, let's let's try to go to like a, a city, like right in the middle of a city and and have like some sort of supercross race through like city blocks or something like that. Like have a street course supercross like they do in Formula 1 and build grandstands next to a park and stuff like that. Is it going to cost a lot of money? Sure, but they seem like they're not afraid to spend a lot of money. They dropped a lot of money to get Ken Rocks in the race this series for three years. And um, yeah, like I said, I think you can almost take a page a little bit from like Red Bull X Fighters. And you've seen, I'm sure, what they've done over in Europe over the years. They've built freestyle motocross tracks on barges over little ponds and stuff like that. They've gone to bullfighting rings and built F uh, yeah, FMX tracks. Just things like that. They're always thinking off the wall. And I'm not saying you have to copy Red Bull or just go right to the bank with that. But, uh, you know, look around a little bit and see the things that are retaining a large audience, which a lot of Red Bull events do. 
uh, and and try to almost reinvent the wheel a little bit with some of that stuff because you know you're gonna have some duds you're gonna have some rounds that don't work and the crowd doesn't show up and the, the reception of it isn't great but I, I think that if you're world supercross and you're brand new and you're trying stuff that's a thing you should try you should try to fail a little bit like try stuff that might work and might not but if it does work it could be massive when it comes to differentiating your brand and what you're trying to put out on the racetrack is something that's unique and interesting for fans to latch onto. so anyway just uh with this track coming out in race factory uh putting on a little bit of a series i don't know what other rounds that they're planning on doing or what tracks they're putting together for this but it was just a cool concept that like i played it and that was the first thing i thought of is like man this is obviously never going to be something that would be part of uh feld's tour with supercross and mxgp sometimes goes to Aston, but also has been backing away from that a little bit more and going to other places so yeah maybe now is the time for Adam Bailey and the folks at World Supercross to consider a venue like this and pounce on it. Just my two cents. Always looking for interesting concepts and, and ways to make the sport that I love a little bit more interesting and hopefully grow it in that aspect as well. Because, like, again, if, if you think about it, if you have a race at Assen and you're trying to draw in, like, the casual fan and you're trying to get the people that maybe don't care that much about the sport or know anything about it to care about the sport and be more interested in it, you got to go to places where it's going to be like in their face a little bit. Um, is Assen right in everyone's face? No, because it's not like in downtown Amsterdam. But you could consider trying to go to a downtown place like that and hosting a race and seeing what the local people think about it. And if it draws an audience and if you get people around there to care about Supercross a little bit more. Um, because while they are obviously trying to target more of a global market and just get fans in other countries that are interested in Supercross to come to the stadiums and watch... There's also the flip side of it, which is you could build a fan base as well by attracting new consumers who maybe are not familiar with Supercross at all. And uh, yeah, I just think that that's one one way of at least approaching it. it. Doesn't have to be every round, of course. Go to the go to the you know Cardiff Stadium and Etihad Arena, which are going to do in Abu Dhabi, and then of course Melbourne. I think they're just going back to that same stadium they did for uh, Ozx Open, but. Uh, yeah, branch out a little bit. Try some different stuff. That would be an advice I would give to the folks there at WSX. So this is a fun little concept uh, track and just felt like talking about it today, sharing some thoughts with you guys. But I'm curious your thoughts as well. Let me know in the comment section below what you would like to see uh, or, or, or really a place that you think could hold a supercross e type event that is a little off the wall that many people haven't thought of but could work. Um, like, think of this, for example. I just went to Erne for the Motocross of Nations over the weekend, or a couple weekends ago now, but, uh, you know, like, that whole track is built into a, a valley, and they got 102,000 fans for the weekend, but more or less, I would say, on race day, they were able to pack the hillsides with, you know, let's say 40,000 fans. That's basically Angel Stadium packed to the brim with 40,000 people on a hillside. Take Erne and go out there, build a supercross track in the flat level of the valley and host a race there. And then suddenly you have a hillside full of crazy fans rooting on a supercross race. And it's a daytime time, time race. You don't have to bring lights out or anything like that. But another concept that's just like, okay, instead of going into a stadium and doing the same thing they've been doing for 50 years in America, let's go outside and go to a motocross track where a lot of moto fans would be interested in this and just go kind of straight to the source and bring a super cross track to them. Um, yeah, so just ideas like that. Curious what you guys think about that and whether you think that's a good idea or a terrible idea or what have you. But appreciate you stopping by and watching a video here today on SYS regardless. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I'll see you in the next one. So long for now.